Here at Central District Field Days, we're joined again by the Massey Ferguson team and AGCO, uh, the owners of Massey Ferguson, as well as Peter Scott. Peter, nice to be on board here. You've got some great looking machinery around here, but we'll talk about the 60 years of Massey Ferguson. Yeah, it's, um, it's a pretty monumental occasion for the brand, I guess. Uh, 60 years of service to New Zealand farmers. Uh, Massey Ferguson, Ferguson was here, as you know, as, in its own right, and certainly Massey Ferguson's been here for the, for the 60 years, for good and bad, so, yeah. Speaking of good and bad, let's have a little talk about this Ferguson behind us here. This is the original um, trip to the Antarctic, isn't it? It's uh, of that era. It's the, there are three originals. Uh, we do have one in our uh, uh, museum and at the factory, and there's one in Canterbury and one in Motat in Auckland. So this is of the similar era. So it's uh, Sir, Ed, Sir Ed did his thing in, in, the, in 1958, and that's why they uh, started to paint them red. So. Yeah, that's right. We had a marriage between uh, Massey Harris and Ferguson, so um, tell us a little bit about that. Well, Massey Harris and Ferguson were uh, competitors for a while. Uh, Harry Ferguson uh, is famous for inventing the uh, three-point linkage and the implements that went on the back. So uh, he um, had various. He was supplying various brands, but they decided that uh, uh, tying up with Massey Harris was a good idea, and so was born the Triple Triangle, Massey Ferguson. So. Let's move ahead 60 years and go and have a look at what they look like now. Peter the Grey Ferguson was 20 horsepower. Now we look at a new 20 horsepower tractor here and you can put on anything you like if you're a uh, lifestyle or horticulturist or, or small block holder. Um, that little tractor's got just about everything you can put on it. It has, Craig, yeah. That's got the front end loader. It's, uh, it's got the back hoe, so you and I don't need to uh, lift the shovel anymore. And if we want the, uh, the wife or yourself to mow the lawns, we can fit it out with a mid-mount uh, 60 inch mower as well. So pretty versatile. So. Yeah, that's really good. Let's go and have a look at something a little bit bigger in the new range. Good. So Peter, standing behind me here is one of the flagship tractors for Massey Ferguson and uh, anything up to 400 horsepower, this model? Correct, yeah, this is the largest in the range, the 8700s. We produce this in our factory, uh, our, well, main Massey Ferguson Centre of Excellence, which is uh, just about an hour's north of Paris, and that builds all our tractors from about 100 horsepower up to, as you say, this one here at 400. And this combines all the best in technology, as you'd expect, with the uh, GPS you know, automation, and uh, it's got a um, CVT transmission as well. So. And uh, a lot of work being done on environmental footprint and stuff with this sort of machine? Absolutely, and uh, as a manufacturer uh, building equipment in Europe for the European markets and the US and, and Japan, we're they're pretty stringent on the emissions, so most of our gear now has to meet, uh, as our, most of the industry now meets, Tier 4, and Tier five's coming in a couple of years' time. Thanks very much, but as you can see from Massey Ferguson, there's 60 years of excellence in supporting New Zealand agriculture, and I think they're going to make another 60, no trouble at all.